Master the outlining method for effective note-taking. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we focus on making your English language learning journey smoother and more enjoyable. Today, we're diving into a highly useful study skill, note-taking. Specifically, we're looking at the outlining method for linear note-taking. So, if you've ever found yourself overwhelmed with information during a lecture or while reading a textbook, stick around. This could be the game changer you're looking for. Before we delve into the outlining method, let's quickly define what linear note-taking is. Linear note-taking is essentially taking notes in a linear, top-to-bottom fashion. This method is straightforward and helps you to capture information in real time. However, one of its downsides is that it can make revisiting your notes for revision a little cumbersome. That's where the outlining method can help. The outlining method is a style of note-taking that involves organizing your notes in a hierarchical format. This helps you identify the main points, subpoints, and details at a glance. Imagine a tree, where the trunk represents the main topic, the branches are subtopics, and the leaves are the details. The outlining method allows you to visualize the tree of your subject matter. Step 1. Start with the main topic. Begin by writing the main topic at the top of your page, like a title. This sets the stage for what you're going to learn. Step 2. Identify subtopics. Below the main topic, jot down subtopics that fall under it. Indent these slightly to the right to indicate that they are part of the overarching theme. Step 3. Add details. Under each subtopic, you can then add details, facts, or definitions. Again, indent these points further to the right to maintain the hierarchical structure. Step 4. Use bullet points or numbers. To make your outline visually easy to follow, consider using bullet points or numbering. Step 5. Revise and review. Once the class or reading session is over, it's good to go back to your notes and revise them. You can add extra points or clarify existing ones to make sure your understanding is comprehensive. The outlining method is particularly useful for subjects that have a lot of hierarchical or relational information. This could be history lessons with timelines, science subjects with classifications, or even language topics like grammar rules. This method helps you connect the dots and see the bigger picture more easily. That's it for today. I hope you find the outlining method as transformative for your studies as many others have. Remember, effective note-taking is a skill that can greatly improve your learning experience, especially when you're mastering the English language. Feel free to experiment and see how it works for you. Happy studying!